what the Mexican president Peña Nieto should say to Donald Trump if Peña Nieto had brains and balls. Mr. Trump, I am writing to explain why your proposed wall at the border will be of no use, since very soon Americans will come to Mexico seeking good jobs instead of us Mexicans going to the United States. This is how it will happen. We will eliminate the income tax in Mexico, both for individuals and corporations. We will limit the government to only one function, which is the protection of individual rights of those who are here. A sales tax of only 3% will suffice to cover all government expenses. We will immediately issue documents of residence and passports to all bona fide newcomers, free of charge. We will return the Mexican peso to the gold standard. We will end all exchange of fiscal information with other countries, including the United States. We will deregulate all drugs except sale to minors. We will eliminate all import duties. If something is made better or cheaper abroad, we will buy it abroad. I am confident, Mr. Trump, that you may clearly foresee the outcome. Many, if not all, productive Americans will move to Mexico and bring with them their talent and their capital. Instead of finding a wall, they will find signs everywhere saying, Welcome, amigo, to the new land of the free. We will do this not to harm you, but because we do understand that productive persons that come to our country can only enhance our lives. You say this plan will not work? Yes, it will. It has been tested and proved an extraordinary success. When and where, you ask? In the year of 1776, in Philadelphia, Mr. Trump. Mexico never had a Thomas Jefferson, a John Adams, a George Washington, or the rest of that dream team. That is the real cause of our poverty and the reason why many Mexicans have risked their lives to cross to the United States in order to keep their families from starving. But we have now learned the lesson. The people of a country must never forget that every individual has the inalienable right to his own life, to liberty, and to the pursuit of happiness. That is, government should not interfere with his right to live his life as he wishes. Those words, clearly written in your Declaration of Independence, produced the greatest country in the history of mankind. Tragedy is that many Americans do not understand this. That is why they are considering for the White House either you, a fascist, or Mrs. Clinton, who is a socialist and a pathological liar, who hates the United States of America and its founding principles. It is a shame that you can't both lose the election. As soon as the most productive Americans start crossing the border into Mexico seeking liberty and zero taxes, the Mexican economy will flourish. And yours, Mr. Trump, yours will dwindle. Does it have to be that way, that Mexico grows rich at the expense of sucking talent and capital from the United States? No, of course not. We could all prosper even faster if the United States also opens borders, eliminates the income tax, legalizes all drugs, and returns to the gold standard. That would be very easy for you. Just act in accordance with your Declaration of Independence. So, Mr. Trump, both countries can grow rapidly again if you get your act together. If not, Mexico will grow alone. Either way, Mr. Trump, you will find it wise not to build that wall. You will not enjoy having to jump over it to come to the wonderful Mexico we are about to build. Very sincerely. Spanish version in YouTube channel Mexico Merece Más.